So how can you use iCloud on your Android phone? Let's explain that. So a lot of people are interested in that, and especially those which work in a, in a you know, hybrid format, let's say, right? So uh, in that case, you might be interested in using the iCloud on your Android. And the best way you can do this is through a web browser. So you can just open up a web browser of choice, which might be a Chrome or whatever else, and then just go to literally iCloud.com and you'll be able to see this page. So no matter which platform you are on, you can still use iCloud.com and just sign in with your Apple credentials. So you will need to use your Apple account. So you're gonna have to type that in and essentially just go through the, the process of signing in and if you have two-factor authentication, which a lot of people do, you'll need your iPhone or some kind of other Apple device to give the code back to the phone during the setup process, right? That's like a second layer of security. But once you go through it and successfully get inside of the iCloud, well, what you'll have the ability to is to browse the files stored on your iCloud. So you'll have the option to check out the photos, the files, some kind of other things stored like notes and everything. You'll be able to manage your plan and the storage. And essentially you'll be able to access the things right there, which you have saved from your iPhone or some other Apple devices. If you are an Android user and you never had an iPhone or you don't even plan on having it, well, in that case, it doesn't really make sense for you to use iCloud, right? iCloud is from Apple, of course, and it is meant to be used with iPhones and Apple devices. In there, it's tightly and deeply integrated into the way the device is being used. So, you know, on the Android, you can access it indirectly like this, but it's not the best idea if you want to use it all the time. So. Thanks a lot for watching. This is how you can use iCloud on Android. Let me know below in the comments if you plan on using it or if you have any experience with iCloud in this way. Subscribe for more guides and videos like this one and I'll catch you later.